We'll begin broadcasting 30 markets across the country as part of the regional WIN network. The 24-hour news channel has previously been available on pay TV and has often been considered to be primarily important to political insiders. Sky's roster includes some of Australia's most respected political journalists, such as David Spears, but there's also the so-called Sky After Dark late-night political commentary programs, which have been known, <laughs> which have been known to air extreme far right-wing views. Look how objective I am, uh, Karen. Would you go on Sky After Dark and talk to Andrew Bolt? And if not, why not? Oh, <laughs> that's a really unfair question. But there's a lot of people who don't have any idea what we're talking about. So it's it's it's, it's give them a mud map. Well, I think it would be helpful for people to know what everyone was talking about, to be honest. I mean, if you listen to Sky... I, I looked at watch Sky News a lot because I, I watch a lot of media and, uh, and I listen to a lot of views right across the spectrum because I don't think you can develop uh, a balanced understanding of what everybody is thinking. But I must say that some of those so-called after-dark commentators are um, a little bit breathtaking in their views. And when you say, would I go on, there are some programs uh, that I would happily go on and there are others where I probably not think it was worth my while. Erin, if I can turn to you, you're back with us in Perth. Um, you know, this is a program that has had a self-proclaimed uh, Nazi on it, uh, programs where people dress up like detectives and say, you know, we can't find any evidence of uh, racism uh, in Australia. There's also a kind of a view that um, anybody who disagrees with a reactionary right is um, sort of treasonous, that kind of locker-up mentality you get in the United States. Do you think it's dangerous to be viewed in regional Australia or not? Uh, I think I probably agree with Karen on some of those points there about um, wanting to listen to a really broad audience or sorry, broad perspective so you can actually sort of develop your own. Um, I don't really have views on whether Sky should be out in regional with regional audiences. I mean, when I was growing up, we had GWN and the ABC in regional Western Australia. But what I do think would be really valuable is actually looking at how we're broadcasting Australian uh, networks into Southeast Asia and the region. We have done this before, but it's largely underfunded and it is such an important part right, of our that, soft power. That, that, that is another matter, but we'll leave mm. that for another day. <laughs> Fatima, if I can turn to you, um, you know, on free to air, whether it's uh, ABC or commercial, there are kind of uh, rules that govern uh, journalism where it sort of broadly has to be uh, objective and certainly at the ABC there are very strong rules around that. Now this is, a, this is an unapologetically uh, hard right point of view. Does that matter if you turn on the telly in Orange or in, or in any, anywhere in Tasmania and you get that in, getting that at night? Um, of course it does matter and we've seen the effect of Fox and Friends style sort of um, format in the US where people, I mean, I, we, there are anecdotes of um, people talking about their parents who formerly voted Democrat, but then some exposure to Fox News suddenly turned them really, really rabid. So, you know, there's a concern about the sort of influence, that kind of style. I mean, you can't even call it reportage at all. Mm. Um, you know, so it, it is a worry in terms of, you know, what attitudes are engendered and what permissions are. Yeah. Okay. emboldened and stuff like that but uh, and, and the other thing too is that mm. oh yes um so I've, I've, I've thought about i mean we, we can talk about how how media influences democratic behavior but i i think it's really worth discussing what made americans vulnerable in All the right. first place to that kind of messaging <clears throat> rob carr i'm going to get you back to your old premier um days i'm going to ask mm. you for a 20 second answer what do you think I just want to see them upgrade the quality. Sometimes I get sick of the uh, the relative blandness of ABC, for example, <laughs> and the uh, the sharp edge on Sky After Dark has got a momentary appeal. But they've just got to upgrade the standard. I mean, some of the, I mean, I mean, Jones and Richardson is one thing. That's high end commentary. But down the line, it's okay. pretty crude and undereducated and uninformed. All right, we have five seconds left to say have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Good night.